I'm very blessed uh, to uh, have a chance to meet Alan at Showstoppers here on Monday. And uh, they won the award for uh, the newest and greatest technology. And it just inspired me to say, I got to search this guy out. We got to do an interview uh, about his technology. So Mosier is, is a measuring device. And instead of measuring, we're going to be mosuring, OK? <laughs> And we're going to get that into the vocabulary, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. We'll probably have to uh, talk to Webster Dictionary and see if we can put that in there, right? If you do that <laughs> yeah. for me, I'll be pleased. <laughs> so, Alan, um, you know, give us a little background of this idea, and we'll do a demo here in a little bit about your device and why did you think you, the world needed something like this? Well, it was to solve a problem that I actually had personally 16 years ago. Right. I wanted to drill through a wall. It was a very wide wall. I needed to drill through from both sides. And I wanted to join exactly in the middle, not miss by an inch or so. Right. And I, I actually couldn't solve the problem. But in trying to solve the problem, I thought, what I want is a gadget that I can start from one side of the wall, sure. walk through the doorway, and go right round to the other side of the wall. And it would tell me exactly where to drill the second hole. And that was the, spawned the idea for Mosier. Uh, and actually, now we have the Mosier One tool. It can actually do that. And I'll tell you what, uh, one of the things that I picked up on is how nice this is going to be. It's going to replace the old tape measure, which uh, we were talking about earlier. It's every time it saps up, you cut yourself, or it gets broke, or whatever. Yep. And you know, the biggest competition, I guess, you got is the laser. Uh, that does the measuring, but this thing is so much more incredible. So tell us a little bit about the technology behind Mosier. Right, so we, we have, a, this is the Mosier one yep. measuring device. Uh, it's a new kind of measuring technology that we call motion measuring okay. because it uses motion sensors. So that's accelerometers, gyros, and magnetometers to measure its own movement through free space. Okay. And by knowing its own movement, it can actually measure in one dimension, but also in 2D, 2D and 3D. Um, so it's, it's really powerful technology. So a laser distance measure will measure from point A to point B. It's got one sort of measuring function, which is distance. It's right. great at doing it right. as long as you have line of sight. If there's an obstacle in the way, then it doesn't work. Whereas with Mosher, if you've got an obstacle in the way, you just walk around the obstacle yep, and, and it measures straight through it as if it's not there. Right. But Mosher's got 24 different measuring modes. So distance is one, height is another, uh, two-dimensional area, three-dimensional volume. Yeah. It can measure it just as well. It knows the vertical, so it can measure levels. And it can measure level and distance simultaneously. Uh, it can also measure circles. Right. In fact, it can measure irregular shapes, so it can give you the area of an irregular shape. Right. And is, is it tied into an app? It does, yes. So this connects via Bluetooth to an app on your phone, okay. and you control it through the app on your phone rather than uh, directly using this device. Right. Because there's so much functionality, yeah. uh, the fact that you can capture that information electronically, you can label it and then you can share it to, uh, via email or, or, uh, um, or text message or yeah. whatever. Right. In fact, it can capture 2D and 3D sets of coordinates and then you can output them in a DXF file. How accurate is this thing? So this has got an accuracy, it's got 0.5% error. Okay. Um, now, a lot of people say, well, that's not accurate enough. And, and we're in agreement. This is, we're, this is our first generation technology. As the technology improves, the accuracy will improve. So with this device, we don't, we don't recommend that if you're cutting wood or if you're drilling holes, that you use this device yet. But there are so many applications where actually 0.5% is more than adequate. If you're measuring up a job, be it in 2D or 3D, or if you're uh, simply wanting to find the right piece of timber for the job, this is more than adequate. And the great thing about it is it only requires one person. If I'm measuring yeah, a 20 exactly. foot length, yep. I only need one person. You know, and one of the things that I think a lot of our listeners and viewers want to know is, what's that thing going to cost? <laughs> well, yeah, the, uh, the, the retail on it is going to be $249. Uh, we're actually taking pre-orders on our website at 40% off at $149 if you're quick. 
our goal is that our grandchildren grow up not knowing how to use a tape measure right. or a spirit level. Yeah, exactly. So, your experience at the show right now, I mean, are you overwhelmed by the interest that you're seeing? Absolutely. I mean, this is our first, first time I've ever been to CES. And uh, I, I can't believe how big it is, how yeah. busy it is. And the interest we've had in this has just been incredible. It was uh, a real honor. And I was quite humbled to win the uh, launch it prize for the yep. best tech startup yep. here at CES. That yep. was amazing. Well, that's why I said I wanted to search you out because uh, right away, uh, even though uh, if you wouldn't have won the award, I still would have searched you out because I think it's some really cool technology. So, Alan, I really appreciate you taking time to come over and, and uh, spend a little time with us on the Tech Ranch, uh, measuring is the new word of the day <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going to get into a little demo here too so thank you alan very much okay thank you very much dave rock and dave blair saying see you later mm -hmm.